Lamont's a fighter, and besides, God knows how many people depend on her. Yeah, I guess so. Hey, how things with you and Charity anyway? Did she, uh, she decide not to leave Harmony? Yeah. Yeah? You know, it wasn't easy convincing her. Is she waiting out in the hall? No, uh, Kay and Tabitha said that she was tired, so she went home to get some sleep. Well, good for you, man. I'm, I'm glad things are working out. You know what, maybe... Maybe that's a sign that Mama's going to get better. You know, she's the one who always said love's the most important thing, right? I don't know what I'd do if Charity left Harmony. You know, and the crazy thing is that she said that she was going because she loves me. You know, she's got it in her head that she's caused me and everyone else all this pain. And everything that goes wrong is her fault. But I managed to convince her that the only way she could ever cause me pain would be by leaving. Good for you. You know, I don't know how Mama survived all these years since Papa left. Yeah. Because if Charity left Harmony and left me, I don't think I'd be able to go on. You know, Sheridan's been telling me the same stuff that Charity's been telling you. She thinks she's bad for you? No, but she thinks that I'm gonna blame her for Antonio's death eventually. Why would she think that? It's not like she caused the plane to explode. No, I'm positive that Alistair was behind it. But she thinks that Antonio wouldn't even have been on that plane were it not for her. Miguel, she even blames herself for Mama's illness. She thinks that all the... The stress was brought on because of me and Antonio fighting over her. That's that's crazy. I mean, you'd never blame anything on Sheridan. You love her with all your heart. Same way I love Charity. Well, you know what? They're gonna get it eventually. They're gonna understand that when it comes to the Lopez Fitzgeralds, that love is unconditional and it never ends. There's nothing anyone can do to stop it. You're the one to blame for all of Luisa's pain and suffering, Sheridan. That is not true. No? You said you loved him, and you married Antonio. There were reasons. Mm, you had amnesia. Antonio was ill. Excuses, excuses. You enjoyed pitting those two brothers against each other, like Cain and Abel. And like Cain and Abel, one of them wound up dead and the other destroyed. I didn't kill Antonio. You did. Antonio was dead long before he ever got on that plane. You killed his spirit, Sheridan. And you're doing the same thing to Luis. No, I'm not. I wouldn't. You can't help it. You've been bad luck for anyone who loves you since the day you were born. Don't say that. You killed your own mother. You took her away from me and your brother. Isn't that proof of the kind of agony you bring to anyone who cares about you? Stop it, Father, please. Just stop. If you really love Luis as much as you claim, if you don't want to see him continue to fall victim to your curse, then leave him. Stay away from him forever. <laughs>